personal training. And today I wanted to give you guys something to think about um, that may help when you're in the gym. Um, let's say you're not seeing progress, you're not gaining muscle, it's been two or three years and you look the same. Um, you're not burning fat like you wanted to. It's been six months into the new year and you haven't lost any weight. You feel like what's, you know, what's going on? Um, so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this question that we need to be asking ourselves. Are we training hard enough? Um, so let's get into this and we'll talk a little bit. Um, if you want to build muscle and see results, then you have to train hard enough, obviously. So the problem is that many people do not and simply do not have a way um, to know if they're training hard enough in the first place. Um, they, they have no idea what they're doing. Um, they just walk in the gym and they do 10 reps because they heard that you're supposed to do 10 reps and they don't know what they're doing. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to show you and tell you how to know if you're training hard enough um, to see results from your workout. So, uh, the answer may not be exactly uh, what you want to hear, um, but I can promise you that it is the answer that you need to hear if you want to get results and you want to make gains or lose weight or what have you. Um, so the first thing is that you must realize uh, is that getting gains or losing weight has nothing to do with the type of music you listen to while you're working out, uh, the sounds you make when you're lifting, or even if that uh, you're sweating and you're drenched, it has nothing to do with that. Um, the only thing that matters during your workouts to see progress is effort. So, in fact, it can be summarized uh, even more specifically um, by the fact that you want to take from your body more than what you're willing to give at this time. So, many of us never work out hard enough um, to see the results we're capable of. Oftentimes, we will have a set number in our head for how many reps we're going to do. So, we walk in there. Um, we're like we're gonna we're gonna do 10 or 15 reps of this exercise and stop Because that that's how much I'm supposed to do in this set, right? No, don't don't do it that way um, When we reach that number we always put the weights down uh, regardless of what we could have actually performed um, Another rep or two so when you pick up your you know your 10 or 15 pound dumbbell ladies and you go in there and you do 10 or 15 reps and then nine 10. What's wrong there? Why did you put the weight back? You wasn't exhausted. I know your muscle wasn't burning. It wasn't hard. So why'd you put the weight back? So this is what you need to do. You need to increase the weight. If it is that easy, go up, you know, 0.2 pounds, 2 pounds, 3 pounds, 4 pounds, 5 pounds, you know, whatever will make you struggle more or increase the reps when you feel like you're struggling maybe that 10 pound dumbbell is too easy for you now and you can do 15 reps let's try 25 and see if you're tired all right so um if you do this you're selling yourself short uh and you will not get the results that you want so keep that in mind um others will lose count during their set because not because they're like leveling up in their workout or you know in this game um or the amount that they burn, they feel like the reps accumulate because of being lost in the intensity. Um, they're not paying attention to what they're doing. They're not focusing on, you know, their oxidative system. They're they're not focusing on what how they feel, how they're breathing, how their muscles feel, how the contraction work, what muscles they're working. They're not worried worried about any of that. They're worried about the girl in the corner, or you know, they're worried about looking cool in front of everybody. How much sweat is going down their body? They're not worried about anything during that exercise they're just worried about other things um so anyway it's instead it's because the fact that their mind is elsewhere they're not concentrating on what they're doing in their exercise they are coasting yet through another one of their workouts without paying attention um this is a problem guys you really need to be focusing during your workout so your goal when you train at the gym you should always be doing something that you never did the day before. You should always be trying to push harder, learn new things, push yourself, learn new things. Like, I mean, up that intensity, guys, if you want to see results. Um, when you do, the goal should be able to do that again the next day and the next day and the next day. So do that again tomorrow, right? 
and nobody's ever going to be able to tell you um, whether or not your effort is what it needs to be. Only you will know that. Only you will know that answer. Um, with that being said, uh, while nobody will know what the true effort will look like, we all know what it should feel like, and we all uh, know that it should never feel easy. It should always be a challenge um, to push harder, and you know, we know what we want to feel like. We know what we need to feel like. So let's do it, guys. Let's, let's get in there. Let's push some weight. Um, let's really work ourselves to get to the point that we're exhausted and we know we can't do another rep because that is what's going to get us results. Nothing in life is worth having if it isn't a struggle to get it in the first place. And we all know that. I've been there. I've dealt with that. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. So if looking great was easy, we would all work, walk around looking nice, but we don't. Some of us have these bellies. Some of us have some of us have these big thighs like me. Some of us have bat wings and whatever the heck you want to call it. We know to get rid of that thing, to get rid of those things, we really need to push beyond that limit. So anyways, guys, this was just a little tip for me, a little uh, piece of advice to help you guys in your workouts. Make you think about it, really. Um, when you're in there and you, you know, you get 10, 15 reps becomes easy, it's time to bump it up if you really want results. If you're not just trying to maintain your physique, really bump it up, guys. Um, push yourselves. You're worth it. You're strong. You're capable. So do it. Just do it, do it, do it. Caitlin said so. Um, so anyways, also, for you locals around here, um, I'm also training off base now, Where's Ferry Road. Um, so if you are interested, inbox me, text me, call me, whatever, um, you know, my number. If not, email me, ask for it. We'll set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation and session at the new location. So call me for that info and we will set something up. All right. Thank you for watching Caitlin Inspires Personal Training. Uh, this was a tip for me. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.